within cognitive behavioral therapy. Mm -hmm. The way in which we interpret our reality, the way we perceive and then make associations based upon those perceptions has a huge impact on how we experience what's happening. Mm -hmm. And so people who carry a lot of pain and sadness are prone to find those kinds of painful situations and interpret them in, in their in relationships present, in present time. In the present time. Uh -huh. And there's something that we call a, a cognitive restructuring. We want to understand what, what are the, the narratives, we would use this expression, the, the cognitive narratives, the belief systems that I'm carrying that influence the way I'm interpreting reality. Mm -hmm. I start to learn inside myself where my own kind of skewed, what we call cognitive distortions, my mm -hmm. own skewed interpretations, where they are coming from, mm -hmm. from my own past, from my own, and then in the present moment, using meditative-like tools such as mindfulness, I become aware of my vulnerabilities for misinterpretation. Mm -hmm. And then I'm able to sort of catch myself before I allow my interpretation to sort of interpret some kind of negative phenomenon that may or may not be there. And we all do this in marriage, we all do this all the time, and to different varying degrees based, based upon our experiences, based upon what we're carrying. Yaakov Yisrael, on a human level, right, the loss of your beloved child skewing. Mm -hmm. So he's living in Eretz Israel with a beautiful family, and yet something's coloring that experience right. that he's disconnected from Shekhinah, mm -hmm. we'd say, mm -hmm. right? And then the recovery of his relationship with his beloved Bachor through Rachel shifts everything, and, and now he's able to see the world through a different lens. And now the Shekhinah is residing with him again, and now it's told, it's good. When he's in Egypt, and he's reunited with Yosef. It's not to say that he didn't have those traumas. Those uh -huh. traumas happened in his life. They were traumatic and they affected him greatly. But what is it that allows him to let go of the trauma in this current present state that allows you to just let go of that terrible burden of carrying all those traumas with us in the present? Mm -hmm. That's really what I want to get at. Right. And I wish I had an easy answer for what do we learn from this? I do think that's the task, is we're all carrying things that could very easily lead us to interpret things through a kind of a you know, a depressive lens, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And how do we find, how do we find a way of relating to it? Mm -hmm. To find, I, and there, there are so many avenues towards that, whether it's an avenue of Emuna, Gamzu Latova, all of, everything has been orchestrated for my own soul's growth and my Gilgulath needs. And so that kind of amuna, but it's so easy to say. And I think that's the ta one of the tasks of life. Trauma is defined as trauma when we disagree with how events occurred. In other words, we have a plan of what we, should, we think mm -hmm. is, should happen to our lives, and it didn't. And that can potentially, depending on the degree of dissonance, can create trauma. And if that's the case, is the solution as simple as saying, from my eyes, it was traumatic, but from God's perspective, it was all good because it had to happen that way for all those reasons. And now that it has happened and I've arrived at the final destination, I can now look back through God's eyes, so to speak, and then redefine the events which are neutral as good. Right. And then inevitably, when they go to Lamala and look down, they come to the realization that everything was as it needs to be. Right. Yet, my understanding from the Talmud is that may or may, that, that is absolutely true from the highest level. And yet, when someone is in their world of suffering, we are forbidden mm. to approach them and tell them these kinds of hashtra right. because their suffering is real and we need to respond to their suffering, mm -hmm. not provide beautiful spiritual ideals to help them mm -hmm. transcend or sublimate their suffering. Meaning, actually, as a therapist, mm -hmm. it's not a therapeutic approach mm -hmm. to try and help someone necessarily jump right through to seeing the silver lining in their pain because it's an essential stage it's to be present to go there it's you just presence. have to be there to listen to them that's part of the therapy is to is to listen to them to listen to them and to 
Because so much, uh, ready? The avoidance of real pain right. creates neurotic pain. Great. The neurotic Great. pain is oftentimes more complicated to treat and move away from Correct. than the experience of the actual pain itself. Correct. But now, 